a visit, Mike Stevens says it's a visit appropriate to the season. As in this image from Art Smith of East Stroudsburg, we sink into the doldrums this time of summer. We seek that which will keep us awake and moving. Here's something from Nancy Tully of East Stroudsburg. So easy it is to slip back into serenity. Perfect example here from Mike Murphy of Hazleton, who found calm waters on the west branch of the Susquehanna. There are spots of at least semi-brilliance to get us off the backyard hammock. A bit of dew adds to this one from Sharon Campbell of Clifford Township. Frank Saponsic of Shavertown found dew covering something quite different. The smallest of things create a stir. One example from Robert Generella of Warwicksburg. Another comes from Mary Jo Kreischer of Catawissa. If you look, you will see. This one is a bit easier to spot. Jerry Anchorani of Factoryville found a giant leopard moth in Tunkhannock. At Lehigh Gorge, Lisa Vital of Luzerne had to get up close and personal for this shot, sort of eye to eye. From Richard Prees of Kingston, a subject that really stands out. Bob Rush went out to the garden in the media on a wet morning, looked hard, and found something to picture. So the days go. We work at not working, then wish things would move along. There are some scenes that make us stop and take notice. This one from Karen Hauser of Watsontown. And what about this wake-up call from Donald Serfos of Tamatla? An approaching storm creates a golden glow over hometown. Enjoy your summer day, and we'll see you next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens. That does it for News Watch 16. And